Hi beautiful people, my name is Mark and I love making things sweet and on style. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe, like, and share. This is where I do everything and anything creative. So for today's tutorial, I will be teaching you how to make a very easy sweet tea bunch with leaves and tendrils. So what are you waiting for? Let's start! Okay, so now we'll be making the sweet pea flower. So here I have here a very light purple or lilac paste. So this is gum paste I colored with very tiny drop of red and very tiny drop of blue to achieve this one. Or if you have lavender, you can use it right away. So dab cornstarch on your working space and then put your paste and dab cornstarch and we start rolling. Okay, so just roll in one direction. Okay. Just rolling in one direction. Okay, so with regards to the thickness, it should be thin enough that you can still insert wire number 28 or 30. Okay. Just like so. So, this should be the thickness. See that? Okay. And then, we'll be using the smallest cutter. So, this is the teardrop cutter. Um... The size is 2 cm, okay? So we'll be cutting 6, six pieces. Okay? And then after that, The other three pieces, you need to cut the top part using the same cutter. So here, as you see, I'm just going to cut to create that impression. Okay, and then we first put this all inside the container or ziplock so it will not dry. And Okay, so right now, I'm gonna show you how to make the keel petal. So it's the one on the inner part of the sweet pea. So first, we dab cornstarch and you need to create different sizes of the paste. So I'll get a small circle first. So this is gonna be the smallest one. Okay, and then later we will measure. Okay, and then second to the biggest, just like so. Okay, and then the next size, always remember to dab cornstarch on your hands, okay, so that it won't stick. Okay, so this is the next size, it's like that, and then we'll have another size, which is a bit bigger. Okay, just like so, so we have four pieces, okay, let's make this five pieces, so it's odd number. Okay, so we have five different sizes. So the first three smallest. Okay, so the measurement. This is half a centimeter. The first one is half centimeter. The second one is more than half centimeter. And then the third one is one centimeter. And the Fourth one is 1.3 centimeter, and then the second, I mean the fifth one is 1.5 centimeter. Okay, so we'll start with the small ones. So first, you roll it on your fingers, okay, to smoothen it out, and then roll one side. Okay, so it will be shaped like this, and then gently flat. Okay. So one end should be flat. So this is what I do. I lean it on my thumb and then I press. Okay. And then you need to get... This is wire number 28 and then loop the ends. And then we will insert. Okay, again. So just press. You only press one side. So it would look like so okay see that and then we'll work on with the second smallest so 
So again, you can just insert it right away and then this is where you manipulate the shape. So I just twist on one end. So it's like you're making a cotton bud and then just press to make it flat. Okay, so it's better if you lean it towards your thumb and then flat. Okay, so it's like this. And then the third size, same procedure. Okay, so smoothen it out first with your fingers and then insert. Um, because what we are doing is actually the different stages of the sweet pea flower. And then later we will bunch up. So again, lean it on your thumb and then press. Okay, just like so. See that? That should be the shape. So one side is flat. And then the other side is curved. Okay? And then for the medium size, this is where we will be attaching the wing petal and the other petals. Okay, so I think we should decrease this. So, knead it on your fingers. Okay, smoothen it out first. Okay, get cornstarch so it won't stick. And then make a loop. Then insert, okay, need to smoothen it out first. Make sure there are no cracks. Then insert. Okay, and then we need to lock. And then again, lean it on your thumb. Okay, so that one side will be flat. It's easier to do it when it's leaning towards your thumb and then for this one I'll, I'm just pressing at the ends okay of one part okay and then you'll have something that looks like this see that so we need to press it more the thinner the better okay so there we have it See that? The size of this one is already 2 cm, okay? Because we flatten it out. And then the next one, the largest one, you just do the same. Okay, so... Need to flat. Then lean it towards your thumb and then press, 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 okay? Then you'll have something like this. Okay, so now we will be thinning out and flattening the petal. So I'll start first with the wing petal. So this is the one that has chipping, okay? So what I will do first, I'll dab cornstarch and then I will thin out and expand the petal okay so i'm using a smaller size ball tool i'm just going around the edges you need to avoid the center because this is where we will be inserting a wire number 28 okay so there you see i'm just thinning out the edge of the petal until you have something that is shaped like a heart. I think that's one of the reasons why sweet peas are called sweet. Because it looks like a heart. Okay, so once you have something like this, see that? I'll press this onto my veiner. So I'm just using a rose multi-veiner. Okay, but you can use other veiners. Okay, and then we take it out. Okay, and then after that, the one sweet vein is facing me. Okay, I'll dab cornstarch so it won't stick. So what I will do, I will pull and go around the sides, okay, to make it cup. But I'll do it on a sponge. Okay, so dab cornstarch. So I'll just go around just like that. See what happened. I'll do the same on the other. 
just like so open it a little bit and then you need to pull this and pull the other side okay so now it's cup just like so I will put very little edible glue at the center okay just like that and then you need to get your medium size heel petal okay and then we put it at the center okay to make it stick and then you hold it okay and then there's an excess so you just need to squish that and now you arrange the petal so press it flat just like that okay and then this one open it a little bit Okay, so we need to open this up a little bit. It should be... Okay. So this is what it should look like. Okay, so the keel is hidden inside. And then it's like slightly curve like that okay so if this is for the first blooming part and then the second one should be a little bit open so it should be like so just like that okay so that's how you do it and then now you will work on with the the back petal or the final petal so you need to get the one that is very clean, the one that has no chipping. So what I will do, dab cornstarch again. And then I will just go around and expand the entire petal. Okay, so just go around the sides. Avoid the center because that's where we will be inserting wire number 28. You can also use 30. Okay, so we're just thinning it out. Okay, dab cornstarch. So it won't stick. Okay, so for this one, it just has to be rounded. Okay, just like that. So from 2 cm, it is now already 4. 4 cm, okay? And then uh, we will insert the, first we will vein, of course, put it on your veiner and then press. And then we will be inserting wire number 28, so don't forget to loop the end. Okay, just like so. So the wire is until here and then you need to flip it over. And then what I love to do, so I dab cornstarch on your foam pad. You gently need to go around the sides okay just like that because what it does it actually cups your petal a little bit so you can actually pull okay so i'm just pulling it out little little by little and then you have something like so okay so just let it flat to dry and later i'll show you how to attach this one to the Kill petal with wing, okay? Okay, so right now, while we are waiting for the petals of the sweet pea to dry, I'll be teaching you how to make the leaves of the sweet pea flower. So here, we have color green paste. So to achieve this dark color, uh, this is one drop of red, one drop of yellow, and then three drops of green, okay? So now we tap cornstarch on our working area and then dab cornstarch also on the paste and then we start rolling. Okay, so when you're rolling, um, always remember to just roll on one side. If there is cornstarch, a lot of cornstarch, don't worry because we will be dusting it out later so it will be removed. Okay. So just like so. So it should be thin enough that you can insert wire number 28 or 30. Okay? So we will cut 4 pieces. So we'll be using cutter number 
one okay so we've got four pieces of this one okay and then we'll be cutting two pieces of cutter number two okay so i'll just put this inside the container so it won't dry out so again dab cornstarch okay and then we start rolling So roll it thin enough that you can insert wire number 28 or 30. So we need two pieces of this size. So this is 2.5 centimeter, okay? The cutter number two. Okay, so we'll start with this one. So you put it on your foam pad and then you need to insert wire number 20. So you'll be using color green. So this is wire number 28. So just insert. So the bottom part should be the one that is pointed. Okay. And then using your ball tool, we will manipulate the shape. So I'll just push going the sides. You see the difference? Okay, just like that. And then you need your leaf veiner. Here I have my leaf veiner, so I'll just press it out. Okay. And then we'll have something like so. Just like that. Okay. So you need to do this even on the smaller leaf, and then later on we will assemble. Okay, so now we're done with our leaves and the petals are also drying out. So we'll be doing a small fruit-like appearance. So for us to mimic the part of the sweet pea that is actually pollinated already. So we need a small paste. So this is around one half centimeter. Okay, so we will elongate the small circle. So first, smoothen it out. Okay, and then we elongate. Using our fingers, I'm just rolling it back and forth. And then I will insert it into a wire that is color white, wire number 28. Okay. So I'm just twisting. And then I'm going to make this super pointed. Okay, just like so. And then I'm going to pinch one side. Okay. Just like so. You see the difference? So it's like a like a very small T. Okay? So as to mimic the ones that are pollinated. Okay? Just like that. And then what I will do, I still have here one excess petal. Okay, so we need to do some chipping. Just like that. And then using your foam pad, what I love to do here is first I dab cornstarch and then I thin it out. Okay. So I'm just thinning it out. Same as how we do the wing petal for the others. Okay. So after that, once you have a heart shape, I will put this in the veiner. Okay. I press it on the veiner and then what I love to do so I take it out okay and then I'll just put very little glue on just one side just like that okay very little glue and I will stick it here okay so once I stick it there just like so I will be Manipulating this petal a little bit backwards, just like that, so as to mimic the the petal that is already going to rot. Okay, so I'm just squishing and pinching this petal. Okay, just like that. See that? Okay. So. You have to make it look 
it's going to rot. Okay. Just like so. Okay, and then you can actually use your barbecue stick here to make some tears. Okay. And make some holes just like that. Okay, this is perfect. Okay, see that? So it's like super old and rusted. Okay, so right now, uh, we will assemble the flowers that we did earlier. So first, you need to get your tape and then expand. So I will first get, so this is one of the petals. So what I did to add accent, I just pinched it back. Okay. And then you need to put one of your your keel petal with the wing. Okay, so it should be just like that. At this position, okay, you can bend it a little bit. And then you need to combine this with your tape. Okay, so I twist it here and then I gently press going up just like that. And then I start twisting, going down. Okay. So you'll have something like so. See that? It's very pretty. So we will assemble the others. Okay. So I'm going to show you something. So for this one, so this is the very open one. So instead of cupping it in, so I just stick it here and then just thinned out the edges okay you can do that also so i'm going to attach it to one of the petals okay and same procedure you need to roll floral tape here okay at this level and then gently press going upward and then we twist going down okay so you do that on all the flowers and the petals and then later we will bunch them together okay so right now we need to cover all the small bud and even the bigger ones with floral tape that's colored green okay so first we stretch out our floral wire a floral tape sorry and then we need to wrap it at this level first and then you Slide going upwards and then twist going down to cover it. Okay, and then we will be putting the calyx on each and every bud and flower. So we'll just put this aside. So we still have color green. So to make the calyx, we need a plunger cutter. So this is a plunger cutter. So, so we can use uh, any plunger cutter that has at least five to six star shape petals okay so again add cornstarch then we roll so for this one you can roll it out as thin as you can because this will be for the calyx only okay like so and then i'll be putting cornstarch and flip cornstarch and then before using your plunger cutter, dab it with cornstarch so it won't stick. And then you start cutting. Okay. And then press out. So you have something like so. Okay, so we need to cut. So since I made seven flowers, I'll be making seven pieces of this one. Okay. Okay, so let's assume we already have seven. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Last two. Six. Seven. Okay, and then knead this again and put it on your Tupperware. Okay, so we have here our small calyxes from the plunger cutter. So the first thing you need to do Basically, if you can spread it out, the better using the smaller or smallest ball tool, just like that, okay? And then you get one of your, let's say, starting from the smallest, the bud, 
Okay, so I just pinched it using the stick in the center and then gently slide going up. Okay. Get this level and then gently press and pinch. Okay, press and pinch until it stays on place. Okay, just like so. See that? See the difference? Okay. So sometimes what you can do to make it stick more, okay, you can add glue. Edible glue at the ends, okay? And then same procedure. So we just expand a little bit. Just like so. Okay, and then poke it up and pick it up. And then slide going upward. Okay, and then lock. Just like so. Press, 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 and press. Okay, just like that. So you need to do it on all the small buds and the bigger pet, bigger flowers. Okay, so right now we'll be adding the details to all our flowers. So since we are done with the assembling, so uh, I have here dust that's color violet. So what I will do... The inner part should always be darker. Okay, so I'm just gonna dust out a lot of purple on the inner part, just like so. See that? See the difference? Okay, and then after that, this one, we want it to remain lighter. So what I will do, I have here, um, this is the liquid color red and liquid color blue, gel colors. So I'm using Piotraco, but you can use any other brand. So I will just want to put some strikes, okay? Just like dots from here. So coming from the inside, going out. Okay, so I'll lean it forward. I'll show you how I do it. So it's just gonna be like random dots, okay? So coming from the inside, so just random dots going out, okay. So the inner part should have darker patterns and then it should go light going outside, okay, just like so. So as if it's like it's fading, okay should be fading away so I'm just dabbing the end of the brush okay randomly just like that okay and then we'll be adding some here also very little and here at the bottom part Okay, so it should all look like this. See that? Okay, it's very wonderful. Okay, so we need to do this on all the flowers. Okay, and then we will assemble right after. So for the small ones, let's say for this one, for the ones that is about to bloom, so what I will do, I'll just toss it with purple, the upper part. Okay, just like that and then I'll just put very little dots from here okay small dots just like so and then we're done okay, okay so now we are done with the coloring of all the petals and the flowers so as you see here I made a lot of different stages so this is the first one I taught you and then I also made a lot of these and then here are our small buds that are about to open so for now we will be assembling so first I have here a floral tape 
So what I will do, you need to get a long floral tape and expand. Okay, so first I will be getting, we'll start with the smaller buds. So this is the smallest. Okay, so what I have to do, I'll bend this just like so. Okay, and then I'll get the other one. Then I'll just bend also. Just like so. You see that? Okay. And then I will tape these two together. I need to combine them. Okay. And then while I'm combining these two, I'll also add a very small wire. Okay. So this is wire number 28, color green. Okay. So I'll just include that there and then i'll be adding the next one so this should be lower okay just like so okay so just arrange the the buds and then here, I'll be adding the last one. So this is the one that is about to bloom already. So I'll bend it over just like that. Okay. And then I'll start wrapping this one. And I'll connect them to wire number 22. Okay, so that it will be a little long. Just like so. Okay, and then what I will do with this one, the extension, okay, so if you have uh, the medium size pole tool, I'll just insert it like this, okay, and then I will twist and twist, and then I will slide through, okay, so there we have it, that's our tendril, see that, very easy. Okay, so this is our first bunch of different sizes of buds, okay? So for this one, we need to bunch this up also. So again, get a very long tape. Okay, and then we'll start with this one. So we'll put tape. Okay, and then to be followed by the, okay, so I'll just slide going down and then to be followed by the second flower. Okay, and then I'll add on the stick. This is number 22. Okay. And then I'll add two pieces of this wire. This is wire number 28. Okay, I added two pieces of that. And then here, um, this is my last flower, the fully opened one. Okay, and then just roll, continuously covering with tape. Okay, and then I'll arrange the positioning, just like that. Okay, and then... Okay, so now we will assemble the last set of the flower. So we need to get a very long floral tape. Okay, and then starting with this one. Okay, so we will cover it with floral tape. Okay, just like so. And then we will insert the next flower. Okay, and we will connect our wire number 22. Okay, just continue twisting and then we insert this one. Okay. Then continue twisting until everything is covered. Like so. Okay. And then gently bend this one. This should be pointing down. Okay, and then we move our flower a little bit. Okay. So here, I uh, will... Make it facing a little bit in front. Okay, just like so. And then this one also. Okay. So there you have it. Our three 
flowers. Okay, so now we'll assemble all together. So, first, um, we'll be getting wire number 20. This is wire number 28, smallest, color green. So, what I will do, I will connect this to these two pieces of leaves. Okay, so we need to get floral tape also. Expand. So, what I will do, so put them together and then... So we cover it with floral tape, just like so, and then we will insert the two leaf. So both of them should be facing each other, just like that, okay? And then gently twist the floral tape. Then we will connect this to wire number 22, okay, and continue twisting until we finish okay and then gently open this one and then here this one we'll just bend it like so then the other one the other long part you can actually use a barbecue stick so hold it on place and then you twist it here just like that and then take it out so you have a twisted tendril. Okay. And then here, I also made earlier. So it's two pieces of that. And then we'll add the leaves. Same procedure. Okay. Then connect the wire number 22. And then expand. And then here, we cover this one with floral tape okay so now we will bunch all of this together so in order to do that uh, you need first to get this one okay just like so and then we'll connect it with the other one okay and then we will get the other one So this should be a little higher, just like that, okay? And then we'll tie this all together with floral tape, including the two leaves, okay? So we put them here on the side, and then we put the other one on the other side. And together we will bunch them up. Okay, so we just twist and twist and twist until everything is covered. Okay, and this is what we will have. Okay, so first, what I will do, I'll move the leaf here. Okay, just like that. And then I will move one of the flower stem. Okay. Here also, I will move this stem with the leaf. And I will move this one also from the back. This one a little bit front. Okay, so there you have it. This is our sweet pea bunch. Okay, see that? It's a little bit long because it's a lot of flowers. But it's really, really pretty. Okay, see that? So normally for this one, I would, what I would do, I will dust this with yellow, okay? So it would look more natural. So there you have it. That's our sweet pea.